Ahoy, meaties, and welcome to your Monday Night Rocket League extravaganza. And uh, I'm your host, Vince Payne, and with me tonight is... I'm Jesse Forney. Arg! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll hopefully go through some Rocket League tonight. So, <coughs> excuse me, that pirate voice isn't good for my... No, <laughs> it's not good. He's walking the plank already. But uh, tonight it's Park University versus... Missouri Valley College, CSL Star League, round nine. That's right. In this best of five. Mm -hmm. So I think we played three CSL games this this semester. Right. And we're one and one. Uh, we played Missouri Valley in the past. We yep. have beat them in the past, but they're also they're they're a very good team. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, yeah. So now you. Jesse, you're, you're, you're a lot better at this game than I am. Mm -hmm. uh, um, what's your kind of analysis of, of these games so far that you've seen? So I think that uh, right now Park University is really, really good. Uh, what we struggle with sometimes, I would say, is we have slight coordination problems every now and then. And as long as we can keep our coordination up, then I think we, we're unstoppable. I would agree with that. Yeah. And uh, I know you're hoping you said you wanted to see some bumps tonight. Yeah, I so. wanted. <laughs> okay, this is the deal, guys. We're Park University. We got, we got, we got to bump them. We got to get some demos. We got to get physical here in this Rocket League game. Yep. This, this, this is just the good gameplay that we really need. Pirates aren't known for their manners. No, they're not. We got to be disrespectful tonight, <laughs> but in a respectful way. Be because... disrespectful in a respectful way. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Right. We got to be sportsmanlike, but still disrespectful. Right. <laughs> But we're still waiting for everyone to load in here, so... So I guess we can go ahead and say who uh, the uh, the players on our team. Yeah, so uh, we'll switch over to the roster here. Yep. So we tonight we have uh, Tuna Fish Chris, uh, who is... Uh, how do you say his name? I'm sorry. Chris Nide. Chris Nide. And then, you know, I'm going to let you do this since we you're more familiar. We've got Andre Whittle, who's Sahoya, and Miguel Holguin, who's Blood Bud. That's right. And Sam Malone is also on the team. He, I don't think he's playing tonight. Mm -hmm. um, Water Malone. I think you've seen him in the past. He's played a couple of games. Played last game, for sure. Yeah, so anyway. But those three are the ones that are starting for us tonight. And like I said, we're, we're going to be getting into it as soon as everybody loads in. We're still waiting. I think we're waiting for Missouri Valley. I think all of our guys are in right now. Yeah. Said that... Miguel was having troubles, but I think but it looks he's like they're in. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I think coming back from the semester, they were definitely from the from the break over the semester. Mm -hmm. I think they were a little cold as far as their teamwork was concerned. Yeah. Like they were definitely like on fire mm -hmm. at the end of at the end of the first semester. Yeah. But they took a break. Everybody's a little cold. Yeah. Um, they've been they've been really going at it. Like they've been practicing like well outside of their required hours for mm -hmm. practice. They've been really going at it, trying to get those you know, trying to get those wins. So hopefully, like you know, we'll, we'll not see any coordination issues like we did last time. Yeah, we saw some coordination issues, and last game we were seeing some. Uh, I think it was just people were nervous. We're seeing a lot of whiffs last time too. So. Um, as long as uh, our coordination and just being able to make contact with the ball stay uh, consistent, I think we will do pretty well tonight. So uh, I'm really excited. We're just, we're just waiting on Missouri Valley right now. Anytime. That's what I was told. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> well, they do have, they do technically have, I think, another eight minutes. To get oh, is, is that how that works? I think it's a DQ is. after that? Yeah, I think it's a disqualify, but. Okay. Usually, I've never seen anybody just not show up. So, uh, and like yeah. I said, we played against them before. They're another mm -hmm. college team, so. And I think we won before. Yeah, we did so. win before. Yeah. So, I might see a little bit of a uh, you know a grudge match. And that's try right. To come back and 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 you know get revenge. So. Perhaps a slight rivalry here, but you know, we'll see how it we'll goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, but yeah. You ever uh, notice that the people on the stands and the Rocket League stands are always just little dots? They're not real people. They're not real people. <laughs> They're little, they are little dots. They're That's little right. Dots. They look like little colorful eggs. That's how I prefer to think of our audience. They're just colorful <laughs> eggs. Colorful eggs, yep. <laughs> anyway. 
If you guys aren't familiar with uh, Rocket League, this game is uh, a game that is very similar to uh, soccer. Uh, the way it works is you have three people on both sides. Um, you, each player is a car that can drive around and can jump. And these little yellow dots that are on the map are boosts. And you're able to boost and fly in the air and you're trying to score against the other team. Yeah, those little orange things that are the boost. That's right. And I think each little each little pad gives you like twelve percent boost. I think. I, if I remember correctly, it's twelve percent per for a mini is what they call them, mm -hmm. and uh, for one of the big boost pads, it's a hundred percent. And so a lot of times with uh, you know when they're playing the game, right? So obviously you're trying to hit the ball into the into the goal. Mm -hmm. At the high level of play, what kind of happens is is that the, the both sides kind of move into a rotation. That's so right. one guy will be trying to attack with the ball. One will be going back to get boost and defend. Another uh -huh. one will kind of go and be going in to like receive a pass. Yep, yep. Typically, yep. Typically, it's the uh, there's a guy who's going for the assist, a guy going for the shot, and a guy that is back just in case it gets power cleared to the other side of the field. Um, that's typically how rotations go in this game for uh, standard, which is what we're playing. And, and it looks like looks they like, yeah, finally got in. Is in. So on Missouri Valley side, we got Vortex. Kane X Bunny, Bunny Senpai <laughs> in XD. That's right. So, interesting names from Missouri Valley. Shot towards Missouri Valley's goal. Park University is on the orange side. See Blood Black can get it clear here. Clear it past. Clearing it into the uh, Missouri Valley's corner. Senpai trying to take it past two of fish. He will not have it. No. Trying to go for the center. XD moving into the corner again. Park's doing a good job disrupting here. I think so too. Ooh, that's the center right there. See if they can get that. Uh, blocked by, uh, I'm just going to call him Senpai for tonight. Yeah. yeah. A long name. Blocked by Senpai. Oh, XD shot? XD Ooh, shot. Not quite. A little shallow, yeah. Park put in another corner. See what Senpai can do here. Pass the Vortex. It's cleared out. And Bloodbutt sends it over on Missouri Valley's corner. Do it for shot. Oh, wow. Goal. Shot. And so wait, tries to go Whoa. in anyway. With the, the follow up. There. Yeah, just the follow up, keeping it easy right there, getting it the past. Was that a bump by Bloodbutt on the wall against Senpai a little bit there? I think so. I think we're getting physical, you know. We just gotta disrupt. That's what yeah. we're doing. It, you know, they should implement a mechanic like in hockey where you can just fight with each You kind of can do that. You can, um, <laughs> you can blow them up. So. <laughs> you can blow them up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Senpai going off the wall. Let's see what you can do here. Uh, misses the ball. Way going up. Looks like Blitz trying to do something in the corner. Good clear out by Park. Over onto Missouri Valley side. Vortex bounces it off the wall. It's so centered Sahoya. Oh, I thought he was going to get a yeah. reverse shot or something there. Couldn't quite get it. Not enough boost. Yeah, it was a weird angle as well. It was a very strange angle. Trying to roll it across the net, but it goes across. Fish going up high in the air. It's okay. challenged though. Two vortex to do here. Runs out of boost. I don't even know if he made contact with the ball there. It seems like everybody's going for the ball, like trying to hit the ball at weird angles. Yeah. That's like everybody's kind of going up with the with the, with the aerials, and they're spending a lot of boost doing really funky maneuvers. Yeah, typically on uh, the lower ranks in Rocket League, if you just put the the ball on the net, they can typically score. But at the higher ranks, you have to go for weird shots, and uh, you have to confuse the other team with weird angles, typically. Um, let's see what we can do here. Two fish, Chris. Runs it right past two of the attackers. He's going up high. He's going for the center. Center. Pass Use that blood, blood bud right there. Oh, right off Follow the up, maybe? Bar. Not quite. Oh, we're getting demos over here. <laughs> Oh, off the backboard? Right off the back. Any follow-up? Not quite. Vortex gets it clear. Next he's going to try and take it up. Savoya, but put it into the corner. Yep. Let's see what Senpai can do. Park's really doing a good job of playing aggressively and keeping the ball on his right valley side. Oh, Blood Bud just barely misses that challenge there. Vortex coming in hot. Toothfish Chris's. Oh, he got almost stuffed there. Bloodbutt trying to get it clear. Into the wall. Vortex taking control. Oh, Toonfish Chris with the demo on goal right Sawoya. there. That's what we got. Shot right into the corner. Sometimes if you can't bait out uh, any mistakes from the enemy team, you just got to remove the defender by demoing them. 
<laughs> and that and that's what Tuna Fish Chris did there. That's what he you read did. it. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Good team play there. This is the, this is the park that we love. <laughs> XD and Sahoya, Vortex, taking the ball after it stalls. Blood Blood goes for the challenge. Sahoya passing it across the center field. XD takes it. Two Vortex. shot on net. Sahoya's got it though, but it's kind of not a great clear, but Blood Blood gets better here. And now Missouri Valley's starting the offensive, trying to play a little bit more aggro. But two to fish. Might clear it out on the park side. The ball's a little slow. XD Ooh. misses the, the touch there. And it's on park side in their corner. So trying to do another center double commit by Park. Oh, that might be bad, but they didn't. Uh, Missouri Valley didn't uh, seize that opportunity to score on uh, Park University. That's the oh, blood, but wow! I thought that wasn't gonna go. I thought that was just gonna be a catch or something. Blood Blood with the cherry or the cherry picking play on their side of the field redirects it straight into the net over XD's head. I thought, I, mean, I thought for sure that was gonna be blocked. I did too. <laughs> I did too. I think XD thought it was also. <laughs> that was a good shot. That was a very great shot. One minute remaining. Parks up 3 0 right now. 3 0, game one. This is a best of five. Park again on Missouri Valley's side. Yeah. Balls up in the air a bit. Missouri Valley finally gets momentum. Sahoya catches the boomer. She's going to take it across the field. Simpai gets a clear back over. Yeah. Shoots it over Senpai. XD tries to catch it. Oh, Tuna fish. Chris, shot on. Not quite. Oh wow, off the backboard. Any follow up here from Sahoya? Almost. Good try. That was a, that's a pretty hard shot. It is, it's a very hard shot. Especially with those kinds of plays, you just don't you don't have a lot of time to prepare for it. Either they're in position or you're not. Right. Oh, is this just gonna Oh wow, Whoa. XD tries to catch the ball but can't quite catch it. Falls out of his uh, hands and straight into the net. That's, that's unfortunate. Yeah. That's unfortunate. If I'm Missouri Valley at this point, it's obvious that uh, Park's going to take game one and they're going to have to think about what they're going to do for game two at this point. Right. I think right now they're just trying to they're just trying to stall it out, see if they can maybe feel out some, some weakness in Park that they can exploit. Right. But game one's pretty... It's, it's, it's decided. It's decided at this yeah. point. They're just kind of playing around, but... Wow. That was a... That's a Pretty good performance. There good by Park, Park University. Uh, let's see. Blood Bud it said he got 27 bumps. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's right. That's some. That's some pirate level play, right? That's some there. pirate level play. Uh, we got a, uh, If we look at the stats right here, Park's got a pretty good spread. It looks like Sahoya uh, has got the highest score: three goals and three shots. He was definitely save. being very opportunistic. He was for sure. Um, and if we look at uh, Missouri Valley's side, it looks like. Um, what? Senpai was uh, at the top of the leaderboards right there. Yeah, two saves. Two saves. And then Season 6 Grand Champion from Senpai. Yeah. Uh, I would guess probably the, the best player on the team. Um, so if I'm Missouri Valley at this point, what I'm thinking... I don't even know what I'm thinking, honestly. I feel like Park's just dominating in almost every way. Right. You, I, I think what they need to do is focus on trying to not let Park get organized. And right. Keep the ball from being on their side as much as they can. That was very scary, by the way, for Missouri Valley. Yeah. That just, just kind of uh, went across uh, their net right there, and no one went for it. A lot of times you're trying to set up the ball across the net and center it for somebody else to be shot in. That's right. So a lot of times when you're defending, you'll try and send the ball high on purpose. So that way, when it does go across, it doesn't have the opportunity to win. But at that time, it was level to roll. Missouri Valley keeping it on Park side. Yeah, surprisingly enough here. Park gets a clear. Still in their corner though. Parks. Oh, centered right here for XD. Oh wow. Shoots a little wide. Does shoot a little wide there. Yeah, he goes oh. for another center, blood but nah, I think out. he went for a bump on Vortex there for a sec. Yeah. Let's see what Vortex can do. 
way. Good block by Tuna Fish. Yep. Notice the park's been trying, whenever Missouri Valley ends up on their side, they make the play as messy as they can. They're bumping right. people all over the place. So, you got what you wanted. <laughs> That's what I like. And another shot across the goal there from Missouri yeah. Valley, but it wasn't capitalized on. No. Tuna Fish Chris with the demo. Senpai Next passed. A lot happened. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot going on the screen. I thought for a second Missouri Valley had a had an open goal, but didn't quite. No. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, there's, there's oh okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't see the defender there, but this might just be on net right there. And it's center for Tunis Krish, but he wasn't ready for it, and Blood Blood couldn't quite go for it either. And it's clear off back. the wall. Sequoia so goes up for it. Uh, it's not a great clear, but XD can't capitalize on it. That was probably their opportunity right there to score, but actually we found another one. Or, Good block by Sahoya. Yeah, it was a great block by Sahoya. Vortex getting, uh, demoing, uh, I think it was Blood Blood. Honestly, if I'm Missouri Valley at this point, I think that demos might be the way to do it. That might disrupt Park uh, enough, maybe, to score. Oh, shot nice on that. chip shot towards the goal. And <laughs> rebound by Sahoya. Two for Chris demos uh, Senpai here. Bump on the Vortex. Yep. And yeah, it's like you said, you know, doing, you know, Park's disrupting their plays a lot, they're bumping them, they're demoing them. You haven't seen a lot of that from Missouri Valley. Not nearly as and much. That was Vortex. a great center by Senpai, by the way. But uh, unfortunately, there no three one... defenders I, there I know. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, wow. Whoa. I think that was two demos. And then I gotta watch this again. Wow. A demo on to Chris. I don't think Sahoya expected that at all. He yeah. wasn't ready for, uh, for that. Wow. We should stop giving them tips. I, <laughs> are they watching the stream right now? I don't know. <laughs> Kick off. Pitch. Into oh, the ceiling. Vortex. The bomb. Senpai has the ball again. So he put it out. His blood, oh, this blood is the, misses the ball. has zero boost. going to have to take a long way back to rotate. Oh. Wow. That was a dangerous 50. <laughs> Senpai is playing a little dangerously. He senses yeah. the the urgency rising. Senpai, oh, Senpai. going for that aerial. He's going for the oh, aerial. Yeah. Wow! He air dribbles it straight into Park's net. Gets bumped, but is still on shot. I think I think Senpai here has just decided he's gonna. He's just gonna take carry the, the whole team, right? <laughs> so if I'm Park at this point, there's still a minute 43. Park definitely has enough time to come back. I think Senpai is carrying. Um, Missouri Valley at this point. They gotta focus their demo demos on uh, Senpai, I would say. Trying to disrupt it. Trying to disrupt and also not just the demos, but just the plays should be around if Senpai's there or not. Drop the backboard. Vortex will clear it. Centered right now. Senpai goes for a clear, but it's centered. Oh, again. Senpai puts it in the corner. Goodfish Chris centers it. Ooh. Senpai clears it again. Senpai is doing a lot of work right now. The man <laughs> is putting in overtime yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah, for sure. He hasn't gone home in days. <laughs> He's living off of coffee. <laughs> so oh, yeah. with the clear, not a great clear though. That's yeah, just that was, on that was a center to vortex more yeah. than anything. He should have put it in the corner. I don't know what angle he had here. Oh, yeah, he just... Not, yeah. a, not a great touch on the ball. Um. Yeah, so... Anyway, kick off here. 53 seconds left. I think... It's not looking great for Park, but there, no. there's still time left. There's definitely still time. I think... Likely this uh, game's going to go to Missouri Valley, but... Uh, if I'm Park at this point, I'm just thinking about, again, what the next game is. Ball's kind of stalled out over on Park side. Demo onto Senpai, pass to Sahoya. Oh! <laughs> and Park tries oh. to get that center. Double commit in their in their corner. And center Senpai. For Senpai. Ooh, oh it's... wow! Almost saved it. Um, at this point, it doesn't exactly matter though. But right. still, um... man. Wow! I want to see these stats at the end of this. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super curious about the stats also. Because it just seems like, like he's gotten a couple of centers, but 
he is really like that one air dribble. That was yeah, the all air dribble was insane. I that agree. was insane. Yeah, for sure. So we shot towards the goal. Senpai's gonna clear it out. Bumps it away. Three seconds left. Three seconds. Team's gonna. Team two's gonna go to Missouri Valley. Yep. All right. Let's take a look at these stats. I'm super yeah. curious. I I definitely think that uh, Simpai is has the highest score. Yeah. Uh, let's see. By yeah, by 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 quite a lot. But but yeah, it's honestly not as much as I thought. Vortex is also putting in work. Vortex has four shots on goal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It Vortex <laughs> is doing pretty good right now too. Uh, we got a pretty even spread for the most part at Park. Um, yeah, I, from the look of it, looks of it, it looks like Vortex is also putting in a lot of work. Senpai yeah. is just uh, being a glory hog and taking all the, <laughs> all the yeah. goals for himself. He has the most shots and the most goals, mm -hmm. but he has no assists or saves. So, He's a striker. I know. <laughs> Only going after the ball, not, a, not defending the goal. He didn't need to that game. Right. It really stepped up the aggression. Game three... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering about the tags, but... All right, so Hoya centered right here. Oh, Blood Bud just barely misses. That was an op a great opportunity for Park right there. Just a little wide. A little wide. Oh, wow, XD actually gets a pass off Park's backboard right here. Vortex centers for Senpai. Blood Bud's going to get the block. Use all his his, uh, his boost right there, uh, Blood Bud did, for the Trying block. to disrupt Senpai as much as they can. Up. Park's corner right here. Said by tries to shoot it towards the goal at a really shallow oh. angle. No, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I think XD was in. That was a known goal for yeah. a second there. Nope, Sahoya misses the shot. Another passes to the fish. Passes back to Blood, but. See what we can get here. It's centered. I oh, think you see, Blood Bud went for that. He, he went for the bump for yeah, sure. Yeah, he went there. for the bump. Off the backboard. But another another center. Oh, oh not quite. Oh, just, not a quite. Little, just a little wide. That was, that was yeah. really close. Dude, Park's aggression right now is insane. Let's see if we can keep it keep it up on Missouri Valley's uh, side of the field with the aggression. Yeah. Park started with the heat on on high. <laughs> Missouri Valley turned their heat up onto high, yeah. so we're all cranking it over into overdrive. <laughs> apparently, we're maxed out. <laughs> Keeping it on Missouri Valley's side, forcing Missouri Valley's defense to work on overtime. Bump on Tuna Fish, Chris. Wow. Blood Bud's there. Off the backboard to see what... Oh, XD actually gets a good black uh, backboard clear. Trying to receive the ball. Runs it past XD. Oh, Vortex. Vortex, that's off. Centers the ball off the backboard. Blood Bud's got it, by two, by Oh, is that shot. just... Four, okay. Wow, that's okay. That's a little wide. A little Missouri wide. Missouri Valley's leaving their, their goal That was an open net. Yeah. That's like the second time in this game alone that that's happened. Yep. No goal scored yet. It's 2 minutes 50. Yep. Sitting in the corner. Vortex bumping it out. Right off the backboard. Blood Bud's coming in. Oh. Newfish Chris almost centered to himself there. Looks like... Vortex went for a shot, but... XD misses. And the, the goal's wide Is open. Is this wide Once open? Again. Oh. Vortex clears there. it. Yeah. Vortex guys. Oh, wow. There's so many opportunities. Fish sets it up one more time. Senpai. Going to go for the challenge. Wins there, but he gets bumped out oh, of the way. Oh, that was the team bump. XD completely misses the ball there. Ooh, almost or gold there, I think. On two fish Chris there, but. Sequoia with a really high-speed wall shot. Pass over the other side of the field. Looks like XD's going to take control. Corner. No goal score yet. Still. No. It's a fierce battle for sure. He's going to clear out again. If Chris Chris gets a uh, demo off screen. And Senpai's going to take it. Oh, past the Vortex. Wow. Vortex with the redirect. Incredible. All three parks defenders were right there, and no one expected that at all. It just looked like he was trying to recover, and I guess he was going for the shot. Yeah, they'll take the first goal of game three. That's right.
right. It's one to one in the series. Best of five. Yeah, best okay. of five, one to one. Right across wow. the goal again. Senpai. Oh, Sean, Sean Cole. Goal. XD has a bad clear. And Sohoya yeah. comes in. Sohoya. Park fires back. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be the fifth in the series. Park strikes back. Oh, okay. okay. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Attack of the Park. Attack of the Park. Oh, Attack I of see. the Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Pinch goes off the ceiling into the corner. Vortex has it right here. Two fish press in the air. Oh, that's a hard bounce. It is a hard bounce. I think oh, Vortex goes for it. Senpai, I don't think he's going to get a shot off that. No, he was hitting off the backboard. Oh, good fake. Challenge. Senpai with the backboard clear. Backwards, too. Senpai is very good. Also on their side. Vortex is going up for it. He's going to move it back. Look what's got it, though. Now we're kind oh. of at that stage where we we're talking about where both teams are trying to break the other location. Right. If uh, Park, Park could have had opportunity right there with XT's court uh, clear. Wow! What? I, whoa, what was that? Vortex with the... Okay. So he assisted and then Senpai just went for the aerial right there, upside down. Here's only, it's hard. It's hard to read that. It, it looked like Vortex was going for his own shot there. Um, but yeah. Right. Steve taking the ball. And seven seconds left. It's on Park's this, side. They don't have a whole lot of time. This is Park's opportunity. We got three seconds here. Oh, it's in the air. Ball still alive, it's heading towards the goal. If it hits, oh, oh. all right, it will go down. Well, it looks like um, Missouri Valley is going to take game two, two one in this series. Um, let's look at these stats. Vortex actually up there with Senpai with the stats. Vortex was playing really well in that game too. What, mm -hmm. Better than any of the other games for sure. Yeah, that was he was he put in a lot. <laughs> that one aerial. Redirect was, that was insane. That was really good. <laughs> that was definitely insane. Putting in a lot of work. We're going to gear to game four. This is match point for Missouri Valley. That's right. So Parks really got to put that. Really got to put that in. Got to make them walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai, Senpai right here. Trying to run it right into the cold. Good no. block by Savoya. Blood bud with the clear. I know those uh, kickoffs where the ball stalls and somebody tries to start dribbling yep. in can be very dangerous. It can be very dangerous. Oh, wow. Okay, they were going for the... Uh, it was definitely a passing play to Vortex right there. That was very dangerous. Him on two to fish. <coughs> Off the backboard. Center. XD doesn't have it. Tuna center. fish. There it is. Tuna fish. Firing back for Park University. Hitting them with the arc. Chips it in. <laughs> Kind of fake Vortex out, out there, too. Yeah. I think Vortex expected uh, Tuna Fish to just power it in, but he, uh, he palmed it in instead. All right. Another Good stall ball. kickoff. Yeah. And both of the challengers <laughs> missed the ball there. Pass oh, to wow. Good block by Tuna Fish. Vortex and Senpai are they're just in sync. Let's see if Savoy and Blood Butter are in sync. Not quite with that passing play. Another, another whiff. And looks like balls. Oh, oh wow. Scary. Oh, he gets faked out. Oh. Tuna fish. Good clear. <laughs> that was real scary. Yep. I'll sit here on the edge of our seats. So we have wall shot. Trying to get that center. Oh, oh wow. That Locked was a bad XD. clear. Oh. oh, but a great save by Vortex, I think that was. No, a senpai. Oh, it was a senpai. Okay. That was senpai. Great side, great save. Uh, Sahoya's got the clear down here. Shot towards the goal by XD. Sahoya, the wall shot. Oh, looks like Vortex won that challenge. Oh. Shoots a little wide. XD! Wow, XD actually gets a. That's goal his first here. goal in the series. It's his first yeah. goal here, for sure. 
takes it right off the corner. And it's tied up here in this match point. Yep. Match point. If uh, Missouri Valley wins, if Missouri Valley wins this game, they win the series. Right. They're just uh, testing each other's rotation again. Vortex about to take a play towards the ball, turn the dribble. Ooh, we got a double cam. Man, oh, is that just in? Oh, uh, wow. It was, a little, it was a little short. Yeah. So, another center. I will say that Missouri Valley's offense is kind of crazy right now. Park's having a really hard time. Um. Another shot towards the goal by Park. Yep. That was blocked by Vortex. Oh, Senpai's gonna try to. Uh, oh, wow, a passing Ooh, play. Oh, that was just a little Very wide. scary. Yeah, like I've said, this Senpai. Oh my gosh. Tuna Fish Chris with the backflip on accident. Very scary. Uh, this is uh, eerily similar to the last game that uh, Park had that I was here with, uh, who was that, uh, University of Tennessee, Knoxville, where Park was having a really hard time getting out of there. Yeah. Uh, almost the whole series. Which, it's the, it's the reverse of what it was the, the first game. Right. Or even the second. Mm -hmm. uh, I, think, I think that they've kind of warmed up a little bit, tested the waters. So For sure. Really making stuff happen now. Uh, Vortex uh, was oh. a little slow. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, he's going for a ground to air dribble, and it it works. Uh, I was thinking that was just going in way too slow. That's interesting because you see he really stalled it out there. And he yep, and then he just pops it up and dribbles it straight in. Steps on the gas. Two attempts at defending too, and that didn't quite uh didn't quite work. No. Tunafish shooting off the wall. Oh, gets a pass XD. See if we can pass Vortex right here for a pass. Not quite. Vortex with the clear. Ooh, we have no defenders back there. Very scary. It's oh, almost... no. Oh, man. That's the coordination yeah. problem right there for sure. The, the defense was so scattered there. Yeah. yeah. And you, see, see, you see that, that double They double committed there, yeah. on it. And I think if any one of them would have gotten the tap there... It would have cleared fine, but they both went for it, and it was a bad clear. Right. Um, at this point, there's a minute 19. Uh, Park is down two. Uh, match point. Park's got to do something. Yeah, there's, there's still time, but the clock is running out. And Tuna Fish trying to make something happen. Uh, going for center. Oh, wow. That was, uh, I think that was going to be on net. Oh, okay, off the backboard. Uh, let's see if Sahoya's got it. Not quite. Tuna Fish goes for it as well. Vortex now I'm trying to take the ball. Blood Bud shoots it into the corner. Park's really stepping up the pressure here. They've got to. We got 49 seconds left. Oh, oh wow! Wow! Oh, oh too bad like, there's no one there to follow it up. Yeah, XD was there in the right place to clear it. Yeah. That was so well done how he stalled that ball out right above the goal. <laughs> that was incredible. Corner Senpai trying to take it again. Oh wow, I don't even know what yeah. happened there. Vortex is gonna walk the ball. Let's the... take a look. Yeah, it's like Savoya yeah, missed the challenge. 50. Two fish Chris just couldn't yeah. quite get make contact. And... It's not good. 27 seconds left. Park's gotta get three goals just to tie it up for OT. Uh, things are not looking good for Park and Fish. Trying to make something oh, happen. Oh wow. There. Pitch under the wall. Next, he's going to do a shot over on the park side. It's 15 seconds left. 15 seconds left, I think, at this point. Uh, it's not, it's there's not, not a whole lot park can do here. Oh. Um, even if they scored there, they would have to get what, two goals in a few seconds. Um, Which defies the laws of physics. <laughs> yeah. But. Um, so it looks like uh, Missouri Valley Univer er, College just went ahead and took game three um, uh, of that series, and this is a best of five. So it looks like Missouri uh, Valley uh, won this uh, series. Yep.
uh, down in the first first game. Yeah. Uh, lost by four to zero, mm -hmm. I think. And then really made that comeback. Really Senpai made a comeback. was really Senpai was carrying in the second game, and then Vortex started coming back in the third game, mm -hmm. and then this fourth game. Um, I think that Park, you know, was doing pretty well until we start having coordination issues, and then it kind of all fell apart mm -hmm. there. Well, thanks Very for watching, guys. Thanks for coming, <clears throat> checking out the stream, um, supporting Park University Pirates. Yeah. So our next stream. Um, is that it right there? Yeah, that's it right there. So our next stream is on Saturday, February 1st at 3 p.m. It's Sea Law Collegiate League of Legends, mm -hmm. Team Bilgewater at 3 p.m. So hope to see you guys there. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Have a great one.